All right, well, uh, apparently my phone ran out of memory, so um, I'm just gonna do a two-parter then. I, I really don't wanna redo or re-talk about um, just because I don't want to. Uh, plus, uh, I'm gonna eat a bowl of cereal um, after this and just chill until our house meeting. Um, so yeah, I apologize. Um, but there was a little bit more I wanted to talk about um, with kind of my experience today uh, and how it relates to my overall recovery. So uh, again, sorry, this is a two-parter, but um, it is what it is, whatever. You know, that's what we do. We, we work around things. Um, but what I kind of what wanted to really get at the core at was uh, activities like these um, and again, not even necessarily with other people in recovery, um, or I, I don't know, I guess I have to test the bars, I was going to say, and also even in situations where there is drinking or drug use, um, uh, I've been trying to avoid those rightfully, so I don't know if I'll really, um, re-engage in situations like that, um, because I just really don't want to, uh, jeopardize my recovery, especially this early, um, which will be 90 days tomorrow. That looks super awesome. Um, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, but okay. Doing things like this though um, makes me appreciate my recovery that much more. Um, you know, over the past three months, things have really been falling into place, um, and um, you know. I, I thank God on a daily basis, um, you know, for everything, all the strength and um, support he's given me. Um, you know, I try to thank my parents as much as possible for their support. Um, and of course my housemates for just, you know, being there. Um, but yeah, things like being able to go out um, with a group of people in recovery and go to this awesome park and have a great picnic and. Oh, I don't think I mentioned it too. Um, swimming pool, so I swam, of course. Uh, I love the water. Um, I used to swim in high school, so. Um, but yeah, like if, if I had, well, I can't say for sure, because I try not to do the what ifs, um, both in the past and, you know, future. Um, you know, it just makes me wonder, you know, how had I not, been you know uh so successful in my recovery and i hesitate to use so successful because it, it's not something that's ever going to stop um but i do want to recognize my efforts i mean um things have been going pretty well but um you know let's say i hadn't um and i've been just i just kept drinking would be here in this house of course um because there's no substance use um i'd probably probably be in jail if I wasn't homeless um, because I would have I would be breaking my probation um, uh, stipulation um, and I wouldn't be able to go to this event um, you know but in, but instead um, because I've been clean and I've been you know actively working on my recovery um, you know the recovery cafe has been a huge um, component of my recovery but because of that, I can go out and do things like this and enjoy myself. And I don't need a substance or I don't need alcohol to experience euphoria, to have fun. Um, I mean, stuff like this, honestly, I know it's it might sit, seem a little cheesy or, you know, you might have some doubts. Um, and I guess I can't fully compare them. But um, I mean, I had, so, I've, I had so much fun today and just that euphoria. Um, you know, very comparable to drugs, uh, especially when your drug use becomes so heavy um, and for so long where you start developing a tolerance and uh, and also your life is complete crap that you're just drinking or using just to feel normal. And then your situation's so poor that you feel like crap. So it's like, it, it's not even fun. It, um, you know, with, with the drinking and nitrous and, and everything else, it, it just stopped it stopped being fun a long time ago but that's kind of all i knew so that's why i just continued 
Um, and I mean, it still served a purpose. I mean, I'd still be able to get drunk enough and take much more and it wasn't as euphoric, but you know, if I drank enough, then I, I could numb that shame and embarrassment of what my current life situation was, especially the fact that I put myself in that current life position, uh, situation, um, uh, because of my substance use, um, so it kind of at least was helpful in coping with that. Um, of course, you know, that being said, um, it was a maladaptive way of coping, but, uh, you know, that, like, like I said, you know, it's kind of all I knew. Um, so yeah, just awesome to go out to things like this and have fun, um, and have, honestly, I guess it would depend on, you know, how I, uh, you know, like how far I look back, but more fun than, you know, being high or being drunk or at least attempting to be high or drunk, um, much more fun and, you know, free, um, which I always feel like a jerk, but like at the recovered cafe, you know, free lunch too. But I mean, that's, that's part of the reason why it's so enjoyable and so awesome. Um, but I mean, free tons of amazing people in in their own recovery um different walks of life um and just so positive and so friendly um so i'm really glad too that i was able to spend some time with um that group of people um and just go out enjoy a beautiful sunny day um even though it was too dang hot um and just kind of work on building that social connection with them um and I might have stated this before, but I really like what Johan Hari says um, in one of his TED Talks. Um, he says, the opposite of addiction is not sobriety, it is connection. Um, and I think another reason why I haven't, wasn't successful in my recovery, because I um, spent so much time still in isolation and just trying to like bare knuckle it or um, you know, and I'd have some, you know, length of time, you know, maybe like a week or two, um, of not drinking, but then I would just go right back to drinking. Um, and that was with the month of UAs, you know, but cause having that social connection is so, so valuable because, you know, it, it's just, it's part of our innate nature. You know, we're social beings. Um, so some of us more so than others um, and of course you know I feel like everyone has some amount of solitude that they need to kind of recharge themselves even if they're extroverted um, but yeah I was I was still isolating myself and that's also another reason why I wasn't successful so um, it was awesome just being in that group of people um, and uh, I, I just, yeah, it was great. So, um, well, I guess on that note too, really quick, I mean, so my recovery is still going extremely well. Um, I'm really excited about the 90 days tomorrow. That is amazing. Um, uh, and as much as I hate to admit it, I mean, there's some fear. There's a little bit of fear or, um, I wouldn't even say anxiety, but some concern, um, because I'm treading into foreign territory. I've not been clean this long for over a decade. Um, so, you know, but what's nice is my current life situation. I have everything. I've been building a pretty solid foundation um, to kind of help continue to propel me in my recovery. Um, you know, the sober living house, um, I'm going to be going, I'm doing outpatient treatment, which is once a week. Um, even the, you know, negative consequence, I, I'm on probation. So if I mess up, then I'm most likely facing jail time. Um, I was going to mention one other thing. Oh yeah. The recovery cafe and going down and volunteering. I still plan on volunteering uh, three days a week. I might have to not volunteer for as long on Wednesday because that's uh, my outpatient group is in the afternoon, but um, I need to look at the bus routes and uh, see, but hopefully I can volunteer at least a little bit on Wednesdays before the group. 
Um, uh, but yeah, I still want to volunteer Tuesday and Thursdays, even though um, I won't be down that way um, because I'm not going to treatment four times a week uh, with IOP. It's just, like I said, once a week. Um, and um, for a while, we were doing it via Zoom, but on May 1st, the start of May, uh, they switched to uh, in-person, at least this group did. So um, the treatment place is super close to the recovery cafe. So I can just, after treatment, that gets out at 1130, just walk down to the cafe and boom. But I still wanna continue to go Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, even though I have no other reason to bust it out there. Um, and it's it's a pretty lengthy bus ride, but um, so worth it. It's just it's uh, that's been incredibly helpful, and I'm incredibly grateful for that opportunity. So, um, all right. Well, I hope everyone has been having a great weekend um, and is kind of ready and amped up for the uh, upcoming work week. Um, I know not everyone's going to start, you know, uh, start work Monday. Um, but, you know, I, I think the, the nine to five is, is a pretty big percentage of people that are employed. But either way, you know what I mean. Like, I just hope that, you know, everyone's ready for the work week. Um, they got some good time to rest and recharge over the weekends. Uh, maybe spend some time with some family or friends. Um, so, yeah, uh, I will um, try to do a video. I'd like, oh, well. Yeah, I, I am going to do a video. I will definitely, I commit to doing um, a video tomorrow to celebrate my 90 days. Um, so look out for that. Um, but otherwise, uh, I hope everyone uh, has a good day.